Thank you. And again, good morning. This story today comes from the Change the World Kids, Meg Miller and Phyllis Arata Myers, and we thank them for permission to tell their story. It begins, Phoebe and Nika were two young girls, and sometimes they heard about bad things going on in the world, like terrible wars where people would die or earthquakes that would destroy people's homes. And they wanted to help, but they weren't sure what kids could do. They decided to talk to other kids in their congregation in the North Universalist Chapel Society in Woodstock, Vermont. This was the beginning of the Change the World Kids, a group of children who work together to change the world. When they learn about problems in the world, the group thinks of ways they can make a difference. They learn that there's plenty that kids can do to help, and their motto is, no one can do everything, but everyone can do something. Let's try that together. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. And they learned when one person takes an action, even one small action, that it can send ripples into the world around us, just like water ripples in a lake. For example, they learned that many people had bird feeders in their backyards, and the bird feeders attracted these beautiful songbirds, and then when it got cold, the birds would migrate south to warmer places for winter. But one springtime, a couple of the kids noticed that fewer birds had come back to their bird feeders after the winter, and they wanted to know what happened to the birds. A scientist told them about endangered species, animals that might become extinct if nobody helps save the places where they live. And the children learned that the birds that they saw in Vermont in the spring and summer were losing their winter homes in Costa Rica because people were cutting down trees to build new homes or to make pasture land to feed beef cattle and grow crops. The children learned that some birds will not even fly over land that has no trees. And when northern birds migrate for food in the winter and find none, they die. But what could the kids do? This problem was happening in Costa Rica. How could they help? It was far away and they were, in fact, just kids. And then the Change the World kids remembered the ripple effect. Maybe they couldn't do everything to save the birds, but they could do something. So they raised money to start to help start a nursery and they bought land for a new habitat for the migratory birds. And some of the kids even visited Costa Rica and helped plant trees and they helped add more than 40,000 trees to help provide fruit and shade for many species of birds and in time as the effects of actions in Costa Rica will be felt around the world, the Change the World kids know that they'll be able to see and hear more birds in Vermont again. And Nika and Phoebe grew older and new kids joined the Change the World kids. And now the Action Club has teenagers and middle schoolers from many different religions. And they know that every action, no matter how small, can have ripples that spread around them. The Change the World kids do project as simple as shoveling snow for an elderly person in their community, and as complicated as raising money for children's schools and healthcare in Rwanda where communities have suffered from war. With every action, big or small, the Change the World kids prove that nobody can do everything, but each person can do something. Each action makes a ripple, and those ripples change the world. Can't end without a challenge. So my challenge to you this week is to look for opportunities where you can take action too. Hint, hint, they are cropping up everywhere like new trees. And who knows, that action might make a ripple that can also change the world. Thank you.